Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is eighth video of multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React JS. In this video, we are going to create API for our order and order items model, right? So in the previous video, in the seventh video, we have created the models for customer order and order items, and we have also created the customer API, right? So if we call here customers so you can see that uh, this will show the data but let's log in with a super admin right so here we are so this is customer data and I have added that I have added this data from the admin panel okay let me open the admin panel so here we are so this is the customer right so I have also added the order and order items Currently, just uh, ignore the names. We will set this later, right? So here we have a customer list, and uh, now we will create the API for our. Uh, where is that? Sorry, API for our order and. Let me go to the app, order and order items, right? So this is the similar way. And I told you that please uh, create and uh, uh, show me, but uh, no one has uh, created and no one has commented for this. But it's okay, I'm going to create this. Okay, so we have a model now, we need to create the serializer, right? So, what I will do, I will, I will copy this serializer, right? So, let me show this. I'll copy this right and uh, let's paste here order serializer okay so order serializer all right so this is our order serializer and this is model and what we need we need from this order we need customer all right and then uh, everything is fine yes let's show the customer depth okay so let's show the urls here we have a url let's go for the orders So here we have order first of all we will create for orders right so now we will create the views so copy this and paste here order right so now here we are so this will be order list and here we are order list and serializer will be order serializer okay so serializer will be order serializer so let's see this Okay, so it's uh, saying something. Let's go for here. We have order list in the serializer. We have customers, and uh, let's go for the model. So customer. Yeah, this oh, this should be order. Okay, so order customer. This is order serializer. Okay, so now you can see that here we have an order list and uh, okay, so you can see that this is the order list. Now we will create the API for order items. Okay, and I have added this in our order here. You can see that uh, so that I have added these uh, models in the admin panel. 
and these are the order items right so now we need to create the api for order items all right so what we need to do when we go to the particular order it should show the it should show the all the items right so let's go for let's go for let's create here order detail okay so this will be order detail and in the order detail we are okay let me show the okay so here we have order detail so copy this paste here and this will be order detail and here we have order objects and this is order serializer actually order detail serializer okay and uh, this is order serializer this is this should be order detail serializer all right so now okay so what should we do one more thing here we need to create the url and this will be order detail slash let's say pk all right so this will copy paste order detail all right and in the order detail serializer we will we will copy the order items okay in the order items we will show let me show you we will show order and product right so let's say order product okay so this is order detail serializer and we are fetching the order items from id order and currently it will fetch all the data right so let me show you uh, views and this will be order items okay so now let's go here and let's see slash one okay so what it is saying let's go for the url and we'll remove this okay here we are if we refresh this it is saying detail not found okay so it is expecting the order item id right so if i go here id is 3 id is 2 but we need to pass the order id it means we need to pass a relational id not this id right so we need to you know we need to modify the query set right so what we will do here so let me show you what we will do here we need to modify our query set because uh, let's uh, let's uh, you know make more uh, let's do focus on this particular order detail now the first question is what we want and what it will return so we want uh, we should we should see every items in the particular order right and uh, so this is a one kind of a list view okay so let's say list api view right so when we do this list api view so it will not you know filter the data according to the id and all the things it will just return the data so if we if we see here it will return the data okay uh, it will not uh, filter the data according to order 
but it will return the data here you can see that so let me show you let's add one more order let's add for customer one save uh, order items let's say uh, order two and one thing and if we refresh here so it will say here you can see that so order id is two because it's returning all the data but what we need we need only the order one data so what we need to do we will we will override the query set so get query set right so what we will do here so let's say qs equal to this uh, let's not do this okay so this is our query set so first of all we need order id so we can get the order id from keyword arguments from the current request so we'll say pk primary key uh, this is order id right and then we need then we need order equal to then we need order equal to model start order dot object start get id equal to order id now uh, order items equal to model start order item start objects dot filter order equal to order right and then return order items right so let's see now so if you refresh here you can see that only the order id one will be filter here and if you see two here so only the order retail two will be show here right so we have defined the depth so that it is showing the product data and the order data in the serializer here you can see that we have defined depth so that it is showing now if we if we go to the orders it will show two and if we go to the order particular id then it is showing the data okay so with this we have created this uh, order order and order items api okay so when we use this uh, when we use in the our with the front end application then we will see that how we can modify this okay so yeah with this uh, we have completed our uh, we have completed our api for order and order items okay so next we will do the other things we will see that what we require require to do and then we will implement that okay so thank you so much for watching this video please share subscribe like this channel like this video and uh, you can uh, please you can check out the projectplaza.com here uh, i have uploaded lots of django projects with some of free some of with a very low low cost so you can download you can purchase this is good this is very big support for me okay you can also join this channel so i can provide you the github access because i'm uploading the project on github also so that you will learn step by step with the source code okay and uh, social media is there so you can check out the social media and uh, thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned with the code artisan lab so i will do lots of projects on this channel and upload so thank you so much